Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my first Minecraft video. This video is called Trap House and I will be talking to you all about how to make a good trap house. Basically a trap house is a house to keep away griefers. Now, the first step to have a good trap house. Disguise. Now right now, you may not see my trap house in sight. And it is actually disguised somewhere around this area. Now since I've been looking at this mountain a lot, you may realize that it's in the mountain. And it in fact is. Now, if you were a griefer, you, the only chance to really get inside the house right now is to be mining your way through this mountain. Luckily though, the house is made out of bedrock. So they will be mining through it anytime soon. Next step. Cool contraptions. Now this step is um is very useful for well this step ties to a lot of the other steps steps. A uh, cool contraption. Um basically Oh, I think those lightning. Um, anyway, for, so basically, um, cool, tr cool contraptions is a whole bunch of ways to get your house to look more cool or make more shops. So basically, oops, the only way to get to my house is to, uh, one second. The only way to get to my house is, well, if you're a griefer and your body is in the mountain, you might see the bedrock walls that's seen along there, or this diamond. And if you were to have a iron pickaxe, I think it is to make um, diamond, you, which you may not, you could get it, okay? But chances are you may not have a diamond or iron pickaxe. So to get inside, the first cool contraption is hidden doors. And I don't think that's real name for it. Um, basically, hidden doors are is by using pistons, redstone, and in this case, levers. You can open the door. And there are two lovers hidden in this world and around the mountain, and the first one's over here. Just by right clicking on it, it opens the first um, part of the door, as seen over there. And the other hidden lever is just over here. I'm just going to activate it. And this activates the other part of the door. And I'm just going to go back over to the side of my house. Ooh, bravo, bravo. So let's see a reef gets inside of my house. Next cool contraption. Well, actually, it's not really the next one. It's tied to the first one. So I'm just gonna close these doors up. So if my house was in a server or my world was open to land, no one or no griefer could get back inside the house with the door open. So I just activate or deactivate, whatever you want to call it, uh, by hitting that lever, and it closes that side. And do the same for this lever, and it completely closes my house off. From griefers. Now let's say a griefer mines his mountain, sees the door, you know, no problem. I'm just gonna make the door, says the griefer. But, as seen over here, there's gravel above the door, so if they were to break the door, the space, um, this, these two blocks here would be unoccupied, making the gravel fall down, suffocate the person. And it's the same for that door over there, okay. So that's kind of a trap, too, that little gravel thing over there. Um, so, next trap. Basically, um, the next trap, well, let me just show this part first. So let's say you're griefer, you're inside this house. You would, you know, they would go to this part next, there's a ladder. So you're griefer, you're going down, da 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 Yeah, they see your pressure plate, you, they're like, either, well, if you're a smart griefer, you know, you'd avoid that. But if you were a dumb griefer, you would, um, probably just go on the pressure plate. But if you're also a smart griefer, there's no other options you would see. So you just end up going on the pressure plate at some point or another, and I'm going to show you how to you step on it. Big bad boom. So you step in here, and you die. Now, actually, this part isn't supposed to be um, closed off. This part over here is supposed to be closed off. So if you were a griefer, and this would be on survival, you would not be able to escape, and you would die. Boo. Yes, it's sad, I know. But if you're a griefer, you kind of deserve to die. Anyway, so you die, burnt to death, and there's no way to get out because the walls are made of bedrock. So I'm going to show you how this works, because this um, series of videos is called Minecraft CRC, which stands for Cool Contraptions, or Redstone, or Cool Redstone Contraptions. So I'm going to show you the redstone in this contraption, or trap. So basically what happens is you step on the pressure plate that I just broke, um, but was supposed to be over in that block. And what happens is the redstone activates this series redstone over here, which then activates this command block, which this command block, it's slash TP, which means teleport, 
um, at P, which is to target the nearest player, and then those are the coordinates to show where to teleport. And it also, um, it also activates, oops, this command block over here, which then clears their inventory so they cannot put a bucket of water down and then save themselves from dying in the lava. It's pretty good. So that's basically my, uh, second trap, other than the gravel falling. Just gonna get the pressure plate. Um, so then, you know, let's, let's say Reefer gets past this. Now, if you may, if you're a Reefer, you may notice that, well, you, that's not my actual room. You may notice my actual, or my next passageway. And as you're going down this way, you would see this new passageway, your Reefer. And going down, you may or not may notice this part. You know, let's, let's say you continue to go on. You see a pressure plate with a door. You say, why not? Let's go in it. And you go to the room. A lot. Oh, there's lava. And you start to burn and die. Unless, of course, you're quick enough. And you find a hidden lever somewhere in this room, which I'm going to explain in a second. And then the door closes behind you, so you cannot escape in time. Anyway, so there is a hidden lever inside this room, like I said. It is right over here. And what this lever does is, when it opens the door, okay? But it also opens the hidden, or the diamond door over here, which I'll explain in a minute. And that, so if you want, if, for me, if I want to open this door, I would have to go inside the room first and activate the lever before the lava completely falls and so it would burn and die. Um, so I'm going to show you how it works in a minute. Because like I said, this is Minecraft CRC. It's all about redstone. Um, let me show it in a minute. You probably got um, so basically what happens is you go up here and, well, let's, well I'm going to show you what it looks like before you activate the pressure plate, so you put this over here. Um, so before you activate the pressure plate, there is a redstone torch that basically what it does, <coughs> excuse me, is it, um, has this over here which then, um, that activates the piston with the redstone and then blocks off the lava flowing above the ceiling over there. And by perceptive the pressure plate, this breaks that torch, which um, deactivates this, pulling that block over here, and lets the lava flow down. It's a pretty good contraption. It's pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, by placing the torch, the area is now um, closed up over there, and there is no more lava. That's good. Um, okay, so, by, um, by activating the lever inside the room that was hidden, it also activates this over here. And I'm just going to um, deactivate this again. Let's do that. Um, so that way, the door closes behind me. So, oh, oh no, it doesn't actually. Um, because what I actually do is place the torch over here. So I'm going to show you how this works. Basically what happens is when you hit the lever, it breaks this torch, which was um, then activated the pressure plate which closed the door by breaking the torch. It deactivates the, sorry, not pressure plate, but uh, piston. And then moves the block over here, so the door is open. It's pretty good. And to the next trap. <coughs> well, if you're a reefer, you would come inside this room and be like, hey, I think I hit the mother load. And because it looks like a fairly normal room. And if you're a reefer, first thing you want to do is breathe, you know, and raid. So you, you go to the chest. And if you are a smart or nub or whatever type of reefer, <coughs> you would want to open this chest. There's nothing in here, you say. Uh oh. And you would fall down and suffocate lava. And it's the same for the um, chest over there. And I'll, I'm going to tell you how this works. It's, it's, it's a fairly simple yet very effective um, contraption. And basically, what it does is it, um, I'll just get the items back over here gravel, and then I need dirt. Okay. So basically, what it does is. Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like beforehand. So there's a dirt block over here, and the gravel above, and then the carpet above there. So when you activate this chest, okay, um, the dirt that I just broke over here, well, I'm going to show you. By activating this chest, it just pushed the dirt out of the way, and then the gravel would fall down, and the carpet would break, and you would fall and die. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a simple, yet very effective contraption. And I put the um, green carpet on top so it doesn't look that obvious. That's a trap. Now, that's, that was the next trap. Now, this is my <coughs> uh, last trap. So, as you can see, I was just moving towards painting. I kind of gave it away. But, um, 
Let's see you survive all those traps. You're a very smart griefer. And if most experienced griefers and smart griefers know the hidden painting trick. What it is, is actually, if you walk through this painting, there'll be another room or whatever it is that you want to use the hidden painting trick for. So you know you're here, griefer. You want to go through. So you walk through. Oh, and you fall in lava and die. Now, the only way to really escape all these traps and, you know, get to my actual room, not all those, not this false room over here and all the other hidden rooms in the false rooms, is if you were a very, very smart griefer and you went very cautiously and you saw the lava and sprinted over and it goes into my other room. I'm just going to explain how this works so first. So basically, hidden rooms, what happens is there's two paintings, or sorry, not painting sides, and you put a painting over the side. So that way you can still walk through the painting, the painting won't break. And this is my actual room, yay! Let's see. Well, not yay, I would have liked it for me for going to my house and stole my stuff from. This is my actual room. Eight no more traps. And that is the end. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is. Well, that was the end of the video. And just one last thing check out my friend's awesome Minecraft channel, it's pretty epic. The channel is Super Minecraft Plus. No spaces in between each and a capital at Super, Minecraft, and then Plus. Goodbye. Forever. Or maybe not.